Hi everyone, I am Sajata from But Natural Photography and here's our beautiful 21 day old little girl. Oh, she's just woken up so we are going to be wrapping her for her potato sack shot. As you can see the entire room uh, we've set up there uh, for her potato sack shot and we've uh, put sheer curtains there to uh, at the big French windows to be able to uh, feather the light. I think you can see a lot of light and barely any curtains. So yeah. So we are going to just wrap her now. We've kept the room really very warm for her uh, because as you know it's winters in London and we cannot let our little girl feel cold. Honestly for the potato sack shot I don't bother about taking the nappy off because I'm going to be wrapping her in uh, two, two and a half wraps so uh, you won't be able to see her nappy and why uh, waste all our uh, props and dirty them. What if our little girl decides to poo and pee in it? So we'll check it first and she's all clear. So yeah, I mean it's good to know exactly what are the other setups you are going to do later on after the potato sack shot so that uh, you can add those wraps underneath and not bother the baby uh, after the potato sack shot. Just take the uh, first wrap off and that's your second setup. Take the second wrap off and that's your third setup. So that's how it should be done. You have to optimize. And she's being so good. Oh, we haven't burped her, right? She didn't burp. We can try and burp her before we go off to the back her and do her. So that's how I burp the baby. Hold her always by the head. Bring her forward. Hold her by the chin. And on the back try and do that. <laughs> but honestly, if she doesn't burp, don't blame me. I think she's just had mom's milk and mom's milk is much lighter. Oh, no, no. she burped. Usually mom's milk is much lighter, so breastfed babies uh, don't burp that often, yeah? And we're getting hiccups now, so everything's set. We are ready to go. Oh, baby. We're going to fold her feet. And remember, when you're doing these wraps, you have to remember from where the child is coming from. The child is coming from the mother's womb and inside the womb, the child is really, really curled up. So don't get too scared about, oh God, what am I doing? Why am I wrapping them so tightly? Because in the potato sack shot, you've got to really wrap them up pretty tightly so that, you know, uh, the sack doesn't start to wobble, yeah? So the best thing is to just fold their feet in this way. Wide awake. Have you got uh, a pacifier for her? Yeah. Does she use it usually? Not a lot, no. But did you try it on her sack? Yeah, she takes it. Okay. It's she always because it's good, you know. Sometimes because during the shoot they uh, really need a lot of comforting, and it's nothing else. It's not the milk that they want, so it's good to have the. While you're wrapping the baby, make sure the hand is out. <laughs> yes. You love it already, don't you? She's a big baby. She's a big, big baby. And yeah, get your nails cut. I mean, I had all manicured nails, but I made sure I cut them before this. This training. I don't want to hurt my little girl. And don't turn away older babies. I really think you can do wrapping shots for kids as old as a month and a half, you know. I mean, I have done... Uh, wrapped up shots with the uh, two month olds as well you know 12 pounders it's just it's easy all you need is like a biggish sort of a uh, um, wrap 
and that's my husband entering the house so just to give the noise just to give the noise oh and that's my dog So yeah guys. Make sure that these sides are very tight, you know. Because if they curl up, then your potato sack will not look round. Oh I know you're not happy. So that's our first wrap. We are going to wrap the baby a second time around as well. The first wrap is pretty much to just make sure their limbs are tight enough and the second wrap is the one that actually makes the sack tight and stiff and steady. Uh, so yeah, I mean that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to hang up now but in another two, two and a half hours I will go live again. So I'm guessing I will go live again at 3 p.m. UK time, 3 p.m. GMT. So uh, just stay tuned guys and thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.